Now, protests against China's stringent COVID restrictions have now spread to at least a dozen cities around the world. The gatherings are a rare instance of Chinese people at home and abroad, uniting in anger. In a statement, the United States has backed the right of Chinese people to protest peacefully. This comes as the Chinese police tighten security in Shanghai and Beijing. After crowds gather to demonstrate, the United States says it will be difficult for China to contain the virus through its zero COVID strategy. Beijing and Washington, they've also dealt with the spread of coronavirus pandemic in vastly different ways. The split has reshaped the contest between the world's two leading economies. Meanwhile, dozens of protesters in Hong Kong gathered in its central business district. They held blank sheets of white paper, which have become the symbol of these unprecedented demonstrations in China. Police warned the protesters against violent against violating, pardon me, violating the crowd gathering ban of 12 people and cordon off the area to record protesters' identification who were later allowed to leave. Small-scale demonstrations were also held in London in a show of solidarity with the Chinese protesters. Demonstrators held a vigil outside London's Chinese embassy for the people who died in the Urumqi fire. They held placards reading, Free China and Stop Terrorizing Your Own People. <laughs> Support also poured in from Australia as about 200 protesters gathered outside Sydney Town Hall. They were heard chanting, from Sydney to Shanghai, democracy will never die. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.